he is one of the best lightweights in the world. Dustin Poirier putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5 2 punch. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. And a victim's list that includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC lightweight division and has the brains to compete up any show that before he was a featherweight. So a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC career. And we remind you when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. So Islam Akashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to wrest the belt away. Anyone, anyway, anyone that hopes to beat Mahachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind cannot break in front of a hot chip because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha, joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makasha. Islam Makasha has graced the octagon. He is ready to go. Tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev! Right, Herb Dean, our referee Great. for this one, just Great. about to get underway. Great. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true 5 2 player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight. and. All driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's pawing at you with the right jab, and then, boom, he drops that right hand. We have seen him put some of the best fighters in the world on their back with that straight left hand. Good to see that Dustin Poirier is landing it early in this fight tonight. Frantic pace early on to this one. Take it for a ride. Double leg, nice finish. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Now he's going full mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. 
When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish the thing. Oh, somehow he got out! That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air, used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Great shot from the top position. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, Superman punch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Makashev's back to the side control now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Great submission defense. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Makashev's right back to the full mount. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Thirty seconds in the round. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Changing the position. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round to fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was Ready over, fight. but Ready. stayed patient, Ready. stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped out. It was so tight. I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Oh, and there's that straight left for Dustin Poirier yet again. That has been his weapon of choice throughout his career. And he's got it working here in this matchup tonight. He's got it going. And he is a good fighter. The guy is a very talented mixed martial artist. And when he can land that left hand consistently, he is a problem for anybody in the lightweight division. And he is showing why right now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akasha. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Right 
Sasha ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out, just go for the finish. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do. Oh, oh. Nice positional control here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makashi. Constantly a moving target. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Makashev's back inside control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Poirier's now dealing with a cheat cut. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Neil Billy. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, ground and pound 101, and now you start to see some swelling appear. <laughs> 90 seconds and counting in round two. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. What's Nothing that? superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Oh, this could be over soon. North-South position. Come on, Carl. Get your mind out of the gutter. Makashev's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Side control now. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him. And now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how it chooses to advance from here. Right to the neon belly. Seconds winding down in round two. Makashev's back in full mount. Posters up now and lands a vicious head strike. Two rounds in the books. All right, back to the stools we go. And that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different Good defensively, fight. it's right. going to get worse. Good. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. Yeah. Shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates.
All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again? Here I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks. Two shots being landed on both sides. His cheek is just pouring blood all over his face, all over the canvas. That gash is terrible. So bad, we might even get a stoppage here. We'll see. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. Nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. While this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie, I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Islam Makasha. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Keep your hands up and keep that head Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transition. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Poirier's an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the ringside position between rounds. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Islam Akasha. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Now he's got a good body position, yo. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, pausing the action here. The referee is going to intervene. And he will call on the doctor to look at that cut on his cheek. Pretty nasty. Yeah, it's a nasty cut, but the blood goes down into the face. Hey, you might taste some iron, but right. it should not affect your vision. Yeah, doctor not here to make friends. He has no choice but to stop the fight. We have blood on our notes. <laughs> goes into the books as a TKO via doctor stoppage. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Bokachev. All right, so he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense son. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target is on his back. Every challenger is the very best in the world. He turns him back at every step. He remains the UFC champion.